Where's the home team at? The price is going up. Let go, man. How y'all doing, man? Shalom. Peace and power, man. You know what I mean? I'm over here digging, man. On this apocrypha, man. And uh, just got me cozy. Had to get the fire popping. Had to get the fire cracking. You know what I mean? But for real, man. Shalom, man. How y'all really, man? Y'all navigating through the chaos. We navigating through the storm. It's a storm out here. It's windy. Got to bundle up. It's a cold night in Cali right now, man. So it's all good. I got I got some good uh, treasures to bundle up with. I hope you don't mind me intruding on your space. You know, intruding on your time and nothing. You know what I mean? I, you know, I'm just digging on it, man. Uh, got the hot con, man. Got me got me reading, man. In this uh, Ecclesiasticus, you know what I mean? Son of Sirach, you know what I mean? It's been a real cozy night, man. So a hop to the hot con. Y'all go make sure you support the channel. Support, 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 man. All the flow. You know what I mean? We feeling good. We really not. I want you to know, man, that you know, no matter what is in your way, you're going to be invincible. You're going to be victorious. You know what I mean? No matter who's lining up against you, you will overcome all negativity, all chaos in your life, you know what I mean, it don't matter how big, how small, don't, don't matter, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying, none of the bullshit, you know what I'm saying, that is being thrown at you, man, you know what I'm talking about, man, you gonna win that shit, you gonna get through that shit, this ain't, not, can't, can't nothing stop you, but you, alright, my people, you know, this is for the tribe, this, this drive right here, you know, sometimes we do drives, and we know a lot of other people watching and shit like that, man. This is for the real ones. This is for the tribe. This is you, you and Con Drops Corner, man. So if you, if you ain't tribal, you ain't feeling it, just go. You can, you know, press your buttons and go. You know what I mean? Other than that, fall back. It's for the tribe. Wherever you at. You in New York. You in Chicago. You in Atlanta. You in Costa Rica. <laughs> Love to carry mayo. And you across the plane, man. In the UK, Canada. You know what I mean? You in Japan and China. You know I mean, we digging on all kinds of stuff, but and y'all might all have to fall back, man. This is for the tribe right here, man. This is this a little cozy flow for the for the flock. We're gonna be reading some incredible uh, script out of out of this apocryphal man, the Ecclesiasticus. Hey, man, let, let me get my bro, let me get my bro some love right quick, man, before we get into it. Let me get my sister some love too, man, before we get into it. That's what we are gonna do. We gonna we gonna bundle up, man. We gonna armor up. Because we could talk about the investigation with Preston John. We could talk about Cities of Gold. You know what I mean, we could talk about flat earth, flat drop, orientation. We could talk about the frequency, 432. This right here, man, we're just going to be kicking, you know, straight armor. You know what I mean? Because when it all comes down, all those are reflections of the word. The word, the sound. The sound is the frequency. The word is the sound. The sound is the word. You dig? So... It's all energy, it's all frequency, it's all vibration, but we're going to be digging on some of this word, you know what I mean? And it's at the core of everything we do. You know, if we talking 432, we're, we're bringing that back to the structure, to the order, because 432 literally is order, you know what I'm saying? The spiral is the order. When we talk orientation, we're doing that so that we know what we're talking about when we talk promised land, when we talk Kalelus, when we talk, you know what I'm saying? Our heritage, we need to know what's east, what's west. If you're if you're on some ball-like land or if you're on a plane of existence, these are things that, you know, in your lifetime you might want to search out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we're going we to, you know, search on the indigenous truth only so that we know, again, who we are. We can't just talk Hebrew and Israelite and say all these terms that our ancestors never used. They never called themselves Hebrews and never called themselves Israelites. So don't come into another matrix. You know what I'm saying? You're just waking up. You know, these are <laughs> sources, man, that, that's coming in. You know, all this is so that you can see what's going on around you. But this isn't you. This ain't me. I'm more than, you know, words on a book or pages on a pages in a binder. And so are you. Your energy, man. You're free flowing. They're, this, they try to cap. They try to put put little pieces of you in the capsule and they call them books, right? 
You know what I'm saying? Put this on here. Here's, here's a here's a snapshot. But in no way does it shape or form the the full unlimited ability of the energy you are. You know what I'm saying? Of the full realm of possibilities, of the full spectrum. So yeah, you know, I am the book, but the book could never really be me. You know what I'm saying? It could tell my story here and there from this perspective or that, from this translation, that version of that. But it's not me. I am the book. I'm the walking book. You are the walking book. So can't nothing get in your way. Can't no obstacles get in your way, man. So no matter what, you know, BS you got to get through and go through when you're at work. You got your family. You know what I'm saying? Um, other things in life. Other people against you. Other, You know, you got a whole system. We behind the eight ball, man. You know what I'm saying? This is how we come up. A rose out the concrete. We weren't put in no garden and super, you know, sheltered and protected, man. Now we, we had to scrap, man. You know what I mean? If you like me, this is this is what it is. I've been overcoming the eye. You know what I'm saying? I've been overcoming, you know, folks thinking that I couldn't be this enough or that enough. Or, you know what I'm saying? You know, you this or you that, or they try, try to put you in whatever. I've been overcoming every perspective, and so have you. We as a people continue to overcome every perspective, every obstacle, man. They try to get us to riot and go crazy over here. They try to test us here. They try to see how much they can poison us there. They put us in laboratories here. Vaccines, vaccines, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff, man. 340% increase in the autism of our our generation of our heirs man the mass genocide the holocaust man that we're getting every monday in the evening we're talking the Marocon holocaust because you got to keep talking about the Marocon holocaust man so we we waking up and you can't tell us who we are you can't tell us where we're from you can't tell us how to feel all you can do is fall back and witness. That's all you got. That's all we got. That's all our enemies got. You know, nobody wants to have enemies, but somebody ain't gonna like what the hell you doing or how you saying it or how you rocking it. How you? As soon as you wake up, you're gonna have to know that at some point you might walk past somebody that just don't, you know, like the way. You brush their shoulder as you walk by, you know what I mean? They don't like the way you got your chest out or your chin up. They don't like, you know what I'm saying, what you driving. If, you know, they think your car is a piece of shit or they think your car is to this or they think your family is this or they think your family, they got all the opinions. Social media got people going crazy right now. For real, man, you know, this, this definitely might be my last year on probably all social media platforms, man. You know, um... You know, the, the way you got to continue, you know what I'm saying, on the soil, man. And I love y'all, man. So this is for you. Again, if I can have this same, if I can do this same reading, the same presentation, if I can do this right here, just straight off, you know, 432 to drop and know that you're going to see it there, you know, but, you know, we ain't there yet. I know that I got a lot of family on YouTube that might not have, you know, we ain't got it to where it's it's cozy enough to have all the family here over there. You know what I mean? That's that's a lot on it. We building that. One day, man. One day. One day, man. One day, man. You know what I mean? One day, man. You'll come right to the spot. You won't have to come to YouTube because it's so convenient and and it's just, you know, information super highway. Oh, there's a drop video. You know what I mean? It would be like, you know, we know where we got to be. You know what I mean? One day, man. From our turf to your turf, man. You know what I mean? So, let's fall back. Let's get cozy before I start. First, let me give a hive to my sister and my, you know what I'm saying, beloved bro, man. I'm talking, uh, I'm talking the cons, man. <laughs> I'm talking... The Light Family, man. The Light Hour Family. I'm talking to my sister Phoenix. You know, she goes by Phoenixism. If you're looking for the website, you know, on your own free time, go into the Drop Shop. Uh, you know, we one of the newest additions in the Drop Shop. Very proud. She gave everyone a special discount on these 
beautiful supplies that she sent us a sample. And yo, man, this is uh, really incredible. Love to my bro, man. Copper Khan, you already know. Copper Khan, you already know. Copper Khan, you already know. And then we're gonna, you know, connect it all. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, you know, beautiful letter. You know what I mean? It's my letter. It's my letter. So, fall back. But actually, I need it because it got, it got some directions. It got some notes. And, you know, I'm not good at reading you know, other people's writing. When it's handwritten, I'm like... You know what I mean? But, you know, I got you. You know what I mean? And this is really a true touching thing, man. Uh, I had a great day with my with my children. We just finished an incredible um, Passover week. And, uh, you know, it was different. You know, it was just a different week. Um, you know, we didn't do everything perfectly and all that stuff. It was just, but, you know, we we tried to tailor it to, the, to our best ability with what we got and, and where we're at. You know what I'm saying? And it just ended up being to us one of the most meaningful Passacs. I've had Passovers where I've done, to me, like, you know, everything, you know, by the, you know, tea and this and this and this. And, you know, you, you even get into, you know, you know, you just got to be careful about, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's kind of like when you first read scripture and you're like, don't kindle fire on the Sabbath. And you're like, okay. So you got Orthodox Jews that literally don't even light a match, you know what I'm saying? But you start getting the overstanding, you're like, oh, you mean like, if I'm writing in that time period and someone has to kindle fire by chopping a bunch of wood and doing a bunch of work that's taken away from your peace with the Creator, don't kindle fire, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they didn't have lighters, you know? Oh, is this work? Is the microwave work or that, you know? All these things, you know? You know, microwaves are bad anyway, man. Get away from them. So, you know, I just, all this starts, starts coming together, you know what I'm saying? So, for us, this Passover was meaningful because we, you know, just let it happen. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we just relaxed. And my children were just so excited about every day. And we just have our own, you know, flow that we got them in, and man. And, you know what I'm saying? We're even going to extend, you know, just ha have a couple more kickoffs, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, just to keep the flow flowing, you know, it just feels so good. So do it, you know, but, you know, be be water, man. You know, be water. That's all I can really tell y'all, man. Speaking of water. Speaking of water, man. I can see that. That's my sister Phoenix, man. You know what I mean? That's the family right there, you know. She does incredible work, man. Go to the site, uh, phoenixism.com. Phoenix-ism. Uh, you know I mean, we'll get you there. And I got, uh, look what I got here, man. I got some lemongrass whipped body butter. Oh, oh, okay. Beautiful, man, you know. Just incredible presentation, my sister. I love it. And you're opening. Oh man. Hey man, real talk, man. This is this is this is the type of smell you need around the fireplace, man. So AI, hey, uh, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, you know, let me uh hold up, man. Let me get some uh, let me make sure I'm good. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Hey man, this is the tribal drop, man. This this drop right here is for the tribe, man. It's for the shot by that, man. Let's fall back. Alright? You, you came here to fall back for a minute. You might get 30 minutes of this. You might make it to the end. Oh, by the way, I know I said after the Ho Ho Con video that I'm gonna start doing giveaways for, you know, the great comments. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do a live video. Could be tomorrow, we'll see, you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna drop it. It's gonna be a live video. I'm gonna drop in on you. We're going to do a little raffle. I'm going to pick like four comments. I think I'm about three videos behind. So three or four, including this one. So I'm going to pick uh, maybe five comments from each one. You know, just top comments, you know, that I'm vibing with. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And uh, put them in a the hat or something, man. You know what I mean? So one of these, uh, one of these crispy drive pass, man. We're going to do merch. Hope you enjoyed in the drop shop. We got a couple different looks on these. 
And that's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna give away some of this new merch, some of this new drip drip. Alright. So I put it in the hat, you know, pick pick a winner for each video. So I got like three I got four video winners coming up. Four people going in, either a hat or the new hoodies, man. Hold up, man, hold up, man. Love the Chef Candy, man. This was her idea to put this on the back of the hoodies this time, man. So, hey, hop Chef Candy, you already know. The only time you need to get cozy. <laughs> oh, man. I got too cozy already. My bad, my bad. My bad. My beezy. My beezy. I got it. You know, sometimes, you know, these, these, these hoodies are war ready. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, that, that dude, uh, what's his name? Dr. Strange or something with the cape. Sometimes these hoodies got a mind of their own. Sometimes they'll just slap a nigga. Just slap it. Slap the camera out your head, man. So, yeah, man. Tribe up. We vibing up. Love the Chef Candy for that. Everything's in the shop, man. So, a hop to the real ones, man. And we're going to give away a couple hoodies, a couple hats. We're going to go crazy, man. Of course, you know we got the great slogans and all that stuff, so we're gonna keep those flowing for you. Ah, uh, man, I mean, just a beautiful dip, you know, just a beautiful vibe up package here. This is a black Mayan copal. I don't, I don't know a lot about this family, so you know, I'm, I'm digging on it. Also love to uh, to my sister V. Got the shea butter, sister Vanessa, all that's in the in the uh, drop shop. You got King Oil, Paco's King Oil, still in the drop shop. You got CJ's Crystal, uh, Crystal James Jewelry, still in the drop shop. And we just dropped sister Renana. Love to Aqua Renana. She has incredible uh, flaxseed uh, hair hair slime. You know, trust me. It's, it's a, <laughs> For your face, for your hair, for your locks, whatever you need. The flaxseed hair. It's all that, man. It's all that. I'll be walking around. Wifey be like, well, all right, you smell kind of good. You know that. That's that flaxseed. Flaxseed. You know, flaxseed slime. Flaxseed slime. Oh, you, you try. You try. What else I got? What else I got? And the ancient blind. Uh, the ancient Mayan opal. All right, all right. Lemongrass whip body. Is that the Kalandala? I'm not so good at this. Uh, hibiscus. Black soul. Oh, okay, this is the hibiscus. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of want to eat this. It's like a brownie or like an like a oatmeal cake. Can y'all dig it? Hey, this is nice, sister. My brother and my sister, this is nice. Check out their show. I think they're on uh, week five or six in the ether. Every, uh, we got every Monday, Monday, 8 o'clock Pacific. Just tune in to 432thedrop.com, man. Go there and, uh, you know, click on the uh, listen link or download the app. And you'll get this great show. They're digging on uh, the American discovery of Europe, digging on so much in orientation, priest king, just true history, putting it together in real time. The sister makes her jewelry. Oh, go check out her jewelry. This is just a part of the operation, man. Go check out the jewelry, crystals, uh, you know, fashion, assort all kind of assortment, as well as Renata. She also got uh, the skirts and the fashion as well. It's not just the flaxseed hair slide. You know, but it's amazing. I appreciate that. Uh, I got the bath salts all day. All day. Hey, guess what, man? After I get in this, you know, you know, after I get done with this fireplace situation, I'm going to hang out with my bath salts. I'm going to trip. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, man. 
Oh man, this is exactly what we're talking about here, man. <laughs> so you gonna roll it up? Nah, man, nah, I ain't gonna roll it up, man. So, man. Oh man, hold up, man. The bro actually left a comment in the drop chat about this one. I think it's the limit. No, that's not the limit, grand. What do you say this is? You get all the drop in the drop chat. You know what I mean? If you if you know what's good for you. Right, right. Oh, my sister was in here too, man. Love, love for getting the drop chat. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the drop chat family. You know what I mean? They up in here now. Oh, he said burn that cedar kind drop. Be careful, it bounces back. This is that cedar though. Okay. I wanna I don't wanna take it all out, but you know. This that cedar though. Huh? That cedar though, man. Hey, 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 hey. I'm Zani, man. Hey, I'm Zani, baby. I appreciate that. Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right. So we we winning. Family, go check him out, man. I appreciate y'all. Go check him out in the drop shop. Go visit Phoenix dot or slash ism ism dot com. Let's go. Let's go. And a hop to my brother Copper Khan. A hop to my bro. You know, I call him, I also call him JG in Brooklyn. It's a family out in Brooklyn, man. Uh, he has incredible resources. Um, you know, has inherited a wealth of information and, you know, really wanted to participate in building our resources here, drop library resources in real time. And that's always love, man. He, he sent a few editions, man, here. The Lawyer's Desk Reference, number six edition by Harry M. Philo. Gave a great note on there, too, man, for you. So, truly beautiful. Truly beautiful. You know, this comes from the hard bone. And this is when you know, no matter what fight you gotta fight and battles you gotta overcome, you got a family across the plane right here with you, you know what I mean? wanting the same thing you want you know you might have two different designs and paths and, and outlooks and all kind of things but when you want the same thing when you can put all the petty stuff aside and be like you know we want you know our tribe to exist to have you know our resources our, our, our land our peace when i wrap up an entire if you ask me what what is 432 drop you know more than the frequency or all this what are you doing, Josh? What's the purpose of you even putting any energy into any of this, whether it's on the radio, the, the flow, uh, the videos, you know what I'm saying? Research. Why are you researching, Josh? What's the purpose, you know what I'm saying? To tribe up. Tribe up, man. If you really want to know what all this is about, I'm telling you to tribe up. I ain't saying to be... You know, no one's best friend. You ain't got. You ain't got to ever know me or call me. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just go tribe up, man. Go tell your bro about it, man. Go, you know, go tell your bro, man. Keep your bot, man. Go, go tell your bro. You know, love the creator. Go tell your bro it's time to try tribe up. Tell your bro. Hey, come here, bro. The price is going up, man. Tell your bro the price is going up. Tell him you're on the war path. This is frequency war. Telling you were born into war. You were born into, you know what I'm saying, war on your people. You know what I mean? And we waking up together and we ain't cool with that. We ain't down with that. We ain't gonna just be, you know what I'm saying, some 98 year old suckers that ain't ever stood up in their time and in their generation for what's right for our people and represented. It don't matter how many of us fall getting there, man. Just don't ever stop putting the next foot forward. Just don't ever stop walking, stop moving. You're one organ. You're one organism, man. No one has to get there for you. You just keep going. You know what I'm saying? You're one organism. And this reminds us that it's all about the ether, man. It's all about the ether. What else we got? JG in Brooklyn. Oh, this is a great treasure right here. Treasure of the Jewish holidays and old... Uh, no connection, man, you know, and this is for you to compare, for you to dig on. We'll, we'll dig on some of their 
orthodoxy and how it applies to our flow and all that stuff, man. By Hyman E. Golden. All right. We got a doc here, man. It's an incredible prayer book. It's called the Hasador Hashalam. And you know it's official because you got to open up the opposite way or the right way, right? It breaks down a lot of, you know, morning prayers. And, you, know. you know what I mean? This is just really good for the soul bone. You know, you know what I mean? Going to flow, you know, it's all about going in the flow. Man. The spirit of Jewish law by Horowitz, George Horowitz. I mean, this is if you really want to dig on it, you know what I mean, and get to it and connect it because you already had law before any invader got here. So, you know, you can see what they talking about. And again, bring it into your indigenous truth and ether up. And uh, lastly, but not least, and I'm actually going to get uh, a couple chapters out of this, man. We're about to get in the fireplace. I'm going to bring you into in, in, Khan Drops Fire over here, man. And, <laughs> you know so Every time I got a fire burning, I think about the hot Khan Iron Mark, man. He keeps the fire burning. He keeps the logs flowing. Every Friday night, 8 o'clock Pacific, you know what I mean, on TDR. The logs are going to be dropping. I think we on logs 16 and 17. The logs drop. If there's anything you know is going to happen that week, you know a log is going to drop in your head, bro, man. So... We appreciate Ether and love. We love you, Hakan. Uh, man, you know, we flowing. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I love my tribe, man. AD, the truth seeker. You know what I mean? You know, this is someone that just keeps me focused and steady in all the real spill. You know what I mean? On the turf. Because if you ain't steady on the turf, you ain't going to be steady doing shit else, man. So AD is right here in the hometown, in the home city, keeping me on, you know what I'm saying? Just turf born. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, love to stew, how I stew, it's been just great, you know what I mean, being able to see how the bro is able to eat it out of just real tough times and difficult things, you know what I mean, and, you know, it, it's, it's all, it, it, we all we got, you know what I mean, so, hey, I stew, you know, I'm so proud of you, bro, because you come, man, you know, you once set, set the mark, and you continue to set the mark higher and higher, man, you are the Mahir, you are the mark, man, I appreciate you. The whole Stu family, a hop to the entire Stu family, uh, man, you know what I'm saying, Uno got, <laughs> Uno got the drop, man, you know what I'm saying, getting to the root of it all, you know, just another absolute real one that's always gonna, you know what I'm saying, give you the skinny, no fat, you need people in your life to give you the skinny, no fat, Uno's a real one, so he's just gonna give you the skinny, no fat, incredibly intelligent, incredibly, you know, creative, I appreciate you, bro, you know what I mean, and keep, Keep tearing it, you know, keep just tearing all this shit up, man. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to walking through, we got to just tear this shit up. We got to tear shit apart. You can't let nothing, you know, just be, you know what I mean? So, but I get it, man. When I think about Uno and Hiring, these are bros that just tear shit up, you know what I mean? In the right way, you know what I mean? You know, when it's time to investigate, when it's time to walk in a the direction, they're going to tear shit up. You know, when it comes to the hijack, when it comes to the obstacles, they're going to tear shit up, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to doctrines and, and, and just, you know what I'm saying, illusions, they're going to tear shit up. So this is a tear shit up crew. Put that on the shirt. We tear shit up around here, man. You know what I mean? We get to the root of it all. Love to Uno, man. Isaac Ford, another real one. On the turf, building, you know what I'm saying? Steady, steady with the flow, steady with the inspiration. I got, you know, th this is a tribal salute. You know what I'm saying? So excuse me while I salute the tribe, man. A hop to Isaac Ford, another incredible example of a man, of a family, family man, you know what I mean? Of someone who doesn't bulge, doesn't fold, you know what I mean? Man, love to uh my, my man natural by law. Another turf warrior, man. Goodness, you know, we got some things coming, we got some things coming. The natural man um just dropped a brand new premiere called The Naturalist. And it's gonna be dropping Wednesdays, ten o'clock. We're on TDR, baby. All right, come support, man. Come drop in, get the app. It's really easy, you know what I mean, to get this flow because we're not a lot of it. Not about ninety-seven percent of it is exclusive to our tribe, to our flow. You know what I mean? There's no analytics. It's not. You don't know how many people's watching, how many people ain't. We just know they listening. You know what I mean? 
I mean, that's okay, I and mean, that's enough with us. You know what I mean, if it's 10 people in the classroom, we're going to get up for y'all. We're going to do it for y'all. We're going to read to y'all. We're going to set it off for y'all. We're going to party with y'all. We're going to play music with y'all. We're going to have our frequency rehab with y'all, man. You know what I mean? If it's 10,000, we're going to do it with y'all. We're going to keep it flowing, you know what I mean? But that's where we at, you know what I mean? So, a hop to natural by law for that and all the great. Hold up, man, you know, because all you got to do... Um, you know, just hit up the schedule so you know, so you know what's happening, man. But a hop to the tribe, a hop to the real ones out there, man. And uh, you know, it's all about the home team right now. It's all about reality. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, nothing can substitute from the reality that you are creating right now. You can't, it ain't no substitute for that. Ain't no one walk and did what you're doing right now. You know what I'm saying? You can't compare yourself. But nothing that you're reading about because it's happening on a whole nother level with a whole nother set of eyes, with a whole nother set of tools. There was no internet back then. There was no social media. You know what I'm saying? They was face to face with the creator. You know, things are just so we're coming out just with the sound that we're hearing, choosing up off of that. Not off the miracles. We don't need a burning bush. Ain't nobody walking on water, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I'm just checking out this beautiful schedule. I'm going to show y'all this, man, but real quick, man. Roll call, man. I'm going to start from Sunday to Saturday. Roll call, man. My Jigger, tribe up, man. What it do? Yo, Seth, the real, tribe up. What it do? No ski, what it do? Tribe up. Martini, Martina, Brandy, tribe up, what it do? Yohanneton Hebrew Prince, tribe up, what it do? Carameo, tribe up, what it do? Exilence, man, tribe up, what it do? AD the Truth Seeker, tribe up, what it do? Templar Urban Reed, tribe up, what it do? KB the Hijacker Cezanne, tribe up, what it do? Tide Battle, Tribe Up, what it do? CJ Battle, Tribe Up, what it do? Brother Nature, Tribe Up, what it do? Kyron Battle, Tribe Up, my brother, what it do? Man, who is man? K, well, I said KB already, hold up, hold up. Come Fresh, man, my man Fresh One, true, real one, true spirit, man, warrior, Tribe Up, what it do? Alright, alright. Alright, Chef Candy, tribe up, what it do? We got Hakan Hiramar tribing up, what it do? We got, we got, we got the, uh, we got Isaac Ford, man, tribing up, what it do? I mean, that's just a, that's just a roll call so far. And there's, uh, new shows joining the Ethan, man. That's about, you know, 20, right, 18, 20 people right there. Um, you know, I do about, Eight going on nine shows every week. I do about nine shows a week, Di reading different books. You know what I mean? I have two that are live on Turf Thurs on Thursday, and Friday is our Shabbat show. You know we we lace it in, we put it down on Shabbat show. So you know what I mean? You got a lot of content dropping. Where? <laughs> Drop Nation, baby. Where? Both to the drive, man. I'm giving away wristbands. Damn near every week to everybody in the chat room, man. So come get your wristband, man. You know, we want to just, you know, have a good time, man. Encourage everybody to have a good time. And that's what it is. So I'm going to leave that up. We're going to, uh, hey, man, again, love to JG. We're going to get this one, though. We're going to get this one, though, JG in Brooklyn. We're going to get this one, JG in Brooklyn. All right. Pen and talk, man. And, uh, you know, it's a good little translation, translation to continue to compare to the Sefer, the Tanakh, the 1611, you know what I mean? The Apocryphal. You know what I mean? We got some other versions in there, too. Let me fall back. You know, we're about to get this right here. We're about to dig on it. Getting this Ecclesiastes, man. 
When Khan drops corner, man, fall back. We about to tear shit up. You know what I mean? So, you know, don't come over here in your feelings. Because we're going to tear shit up. Because the price is going up. And this ain't no play play. You know what I'm saying? We've been through too much. You know, together. You know, we were always together. You know, there ain't no separation. So, there ain't nothing for us to do but tear shit up. You know what I'm saying? And not in chaos. But in terms of the vibrations that's against us. We're tearing shit up right now, man. The price is way up on that. You know what I mean? I like the way the Templar said it. He said, yeah, the price is definitely up on the hijack. And they, they definitely can't pay off <laughs> pay off their debt to us. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no reparations, all that ADOS. And I, I, I didn't even know what that was until uh, the, the whole Dr. Tracy thing. You know, I, I, I'm like, ooh. She linked me in with all this stuff and stuff I ain't got to know even. I'm like, look, man. The price is going up, man. Stop. I don't even want to talk about the play play. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't talking about, you know what I mean, you know, if you ain't, if you ain't looking for the priest king, man, if you, if you ain't really serious, you know what I mean, about what's really happening around you, then you're just talking in circles. Whether you deserve reparations and this and what does it mean? You can't, you can't give me a check, man. I got too much coming. You can't buy me out, man. You know, I, I don't want nothing from the hijack. These people slaughter your mothers and fathers and you want them to pay you because everybody else is getting paid. They slaughtered your mothers and fathers. There ain't no payment. There ain't no recompense. There ain't no nothing, nothing to talk about. You got it. You got it. I don't need nothing. Just witness. We about to tear shit up, man. I ain't talking about kicking over and uh, you know what I'm saying, trash cans, I'm just talking about the ether, I'm talking about literally, we're about the soul glow on, on these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, they should, you know, they, they, don't, they don't know how it's gonna, how it's connecting at this point, you know what I mean, it's beyond technology, it's beyond, you know, private bunkers, this, it's beyond, you know, chemtrails and GMOs, man, we soul glowing right now. And you need to believe in yourself. Believe in that. Believe you're here for redemption. The real the real redemption. The etheric redemption. You know what I'm saying? You know? Just witness. Right now. You know. Live your life. Take care of your families. Love your creator. You know. Um, you definitely want to be prepped up. You want to be thinking about buying land somewhere or being you know teaming up with someone who got land or or you know what i'm saying get down with us man holla at us man you know what i'm saying but come hijack free man because this ain't play play nobody got time for games and shit you know it's like you come for real you really want to build you really want to help us build our land you know what i'm saying and acquire more land you know what i'm saying for the tribe because everything we're doing is for the tribe you know what i'm saying no matter what you call yourself you my tribe i don't care what you call yourself i don't Whatever you call it, that's where you at, you know what I mean? But you my tribe, so when we do this, when we build a shelter, when we, when we are, are, are conscious of it, you know what I'm saying? When we're aware of our goal, it's for you, man. It don't matter if you like us or like this. Stop it, man. It's the, stop the silliness, man. This shit is silly. You're at war. You're under fire. You need to tribe up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... We do survival drop every Saturday, 5 o'clock, you know. If you're there, you're there. We're talking about all type of things re relative to, you know, wilderness survival, different things. But you need to be prepped up. You need to drive up. You need to eat right. You need to work out. You need to train. You know what I'm saying? You're training for your life right now, man. You know what I mean? Anybody, you know, thinking that they can trespass you in any way, you need to put an end to that shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Make sure that you're training up, man. Eating right, getting your sleep. You know what I mean, training whatever you gotta do to train. You know what I mean? But however training is to you, whatever your kung fu is, you know what I mean? Uh, man. You know, going through my <laughs> my walk behind the bars, man. Uh, you know, this uh, one cat from, man, where's he from? Might be, I think it was Vietnamese, man. He was trying to, you know, preach me about Kung Fu, but he was just like, look, man, you know, Kung Fu is everything. Kung Fu is everything, brother. <laughs> yes, he kept saying, brother. Uh, he said, you, 
You see your bros playing basketball outside, man? That's Kung Fu. Basketball is Kung Fu. Anything you do and, and you're perfecting is Kung Fu. I said, damn, man, that's cold. I said, man, you know dragons are... I said, you know dragons are real? He said, no, they're not. He said, don't lie to me. I said, trust me, man, dragons are real, man. <laughs> I said, how you not know dragons are real, but you know Kung Fu, man? I said, stop it, man. All right, man, we about to get into it, man. Let's get our Ecclesiastes popping. Let's get our fire up. Let's make sure our fire is tip top. All right. Yeah, let me put some more logs in my fire. All right, cool, we logged up. We logged up. Loud wah. For the Shabbata, a hey, hop to my Shabbata, a hey, hop to my rules, man. You know what I'm saying? A hey, hop to my bros, my sisters. You know what I'm saying? Across the plains. It might be your first video, your first drop. I appreciate y'all getting cozy with us. You know what I mean? You know, our goal, man, is to tribe up, build our land. It's real simple tribe up, build our land. Continue to build land. You know what I'm saying? Inspire others to build land. You know, so that there's always. Somewhere safe, somewhere that you feel with the energy, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be flowing, you know what I mean? This ain't, you know, nothing to, uh, you know, be stagnant about, you know what I mean? It's about being the moving water. It's about knowing you are the moving water. So we're falling back, we are the water, we are the fire, we're the air, we're the ether, and we're definitely the land, which makes us the dragon, man. All right, let's go. Chapter 11, we in Ecclesiasticus. Let me get cozy, man. Let me kick back with y'all, man. I got my fire all right. We good. All right, so. You, know, you might have never heard of Ecclesiasticus. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is an apocryphal. That's wisdom of Jesus, the son of Sarah, but we know we're just talking about Yeshua. We're just talking Joshua. You know, which Joshua? You know, that's for you to investigate. But, you know, we know that we are, you know, prime location where we're at. You know what I mean? You know that you're from here. You've always been here, so your story better add up to what you discover right here, you know what I mean? Yeah, anything being brought to you, it's hijacked sick. Which is why they snatching it out, why they snatching these out, you know what I mean? Because you already know that in 1611, this right here, what we reading, is already in here. But now you buy your Bible, you say, you know what, I want to I wanna buy me a Bible. But your Bible ain't going to include all the text that used to be here in 1611. And this ain't even nothing compared to what they took out, man. So, you know, this ain't no play play, let's go. Wisdom lifts up the head of him that is of low degree. It makes him to sit among great men. Commend not a man for his beauty, neither a poor man for his outward appearance. The bee is little among such as, as fly, for her fruit is the chief of sweet things. Man. 
talk right there. You know what I'm saying? You might feel like what you're doing is little amongst all the all the big flies and you know what I mean, but you might have the sweetest honey. And you know how we feel about the land of milk and honey. <laughs> Let's go. Boast not of your clothing and raiment, and exalt not yourself in the day of honor, for the works of Hawa are wonderful, and his works among men are hideous. Some people out there just trying to, you know, floss and put everything in front of you and all this stuff like that. That's that's who they are. You know what I mean? You probably got homies like that, that that got to, you know, be all out with everything they got. And you're like, damn man, it'd be cool if you just fell back, man. You a little too hot out here, man. You a little too hot out here, man. You might need to drink some almond milk, man. Fall back, man. <laughs> so, you know, it's all about what's inside of you, man. It's all about that honey. It's all about, you know what I mean, that real flavor that the world needs, man. I got to give a high, man, to my, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about neighborhood Nipsey, man. Neighborhood Nipsey, man, because... He might have seemed like a bee compared to all these bigger flies, but, you know, when what that happened, whatever happened, and how that happened, and whatever the investigation of what and this and this and that and that, hey, one thing we can all say is that the whole world felt it. The whole world felt it. The whole world felt it. It, ain't, it wasn't just a rapper died or something like that, man. It was like something happened, man. Some shit like, you know, what? Who? Who did what? Like, you know, I didn't even know. I got to go back and listen to, what did I miss? A bunch of people felt like they missed something with that man that they didn't appreciate when they could have appreciated. You know, everyone feel like that about your brothers and people because you got some lens on them and you fail to appreciate who they are, what the design is, because you might feel it more than you think. You know what I mean? It might be more necessary than you think. Your lives might be more necessary than you think. So give that AI, man. Give Give your brothers the roses while they live it. You know what I mean? Don't bring them to the funeral. Give them the roses. Don't give yourself roses. You know what I mean? This, this is what we're getting right here. We're just talking to wisdom, man. Many kings have sat down among the ground, upon the ground. And one that has never thought of hath worn the crown. Many men have been greatly disgraced and the dis and the honorable delivered into other men's hands. Blame not before thou has, has examined the truth, man. Verse 7 right here. Blame not before thou has examined the truth. Don't be quick to judgment. Don't be quick to say this must be that that must be that again back to the homie rest in power man peace and power nipsey hustle giant dragon hakan did an incredible log on this man love to the hakan he said that's like uh you know people that something happened to somebody in your family somebody happened to your dad you know what i mean oh, oh my dad got shot and you got you know, dumbass niggas in the hood, they're going to be like, look, man, you know, what goes around comes around, man. You live by the gun, die by the gun, you know. He, he must have had this, he must have did this coming in. Saying all this shit, and you don't know shit. You know, if you can't, you're over here blaming him for his circumstances, because that's what you do. You blame people for their own shit. You know, at some point, you got to stop. Jumping in, trying to, you know, oh, Nipsey, this, this, it must have been that. He must be from here. This must have happened that. This must be a this. Instead of just feeling the impact of the disgrace that's happened to that man, there has to be some blame. You know, you have to be, you know, it, it's, this is what we at right now, my brothers, my sisters. What does it say? Blame not before thou has examined the truth. If you're not willing to examine the truth, examine the truth, not the truth you want it to be. 
but the actual truth of a given situation and you don't know you don't know you're not even willing to truly you know talk and find out and, and really dig if you can't you know in, in, in Nipsey's case we ain't gonna know we ain't gonna know so what's the point of blaming anything and that goes for you know what I'm saying before Nipsey man especially on this side of town when Tupac died people felt it you know very similarly and you got a, a lot of people you know even to this day hating on Pac saying he must have been this and Pac must have been that and Pac wasn't really this and Pac was like nigga how do you know what do you know about that man I mean that man the man not the lens of the man not the stories of the man you know what I'm saying how do you, what do you know what the man was planning what his what his design you know what I'm saying was becoming you know before being stopped short and we know that at the end of the day it's the creator's flow you know what I mean but you definitely don't know people today won't let Pac's legacy be you know what I'm saying uniting the brothers in prisons putting together a code of conduct for the streets he had people that loved him for what he did on the turf and it was bigger than his music same thing with Nip so how can you speak on a man like that what have you done for your nation you know what I'm saying to be inspired by these are people that inspire whether they reached their goals or not whether they fell short and this and this and not what did they inspire man think about King Solomon and all the ways he went off you know what I'm saying but do you know what he did what did Solomon do you know what I'm saying what did he do yeah he you know went into his his, his his old downward spiral so to speak you know what I mean again we're reading about it we weren't there you know what I'm saying we're reading translations and this and this you know but I assume there's truth in it so he went off cool you know what I mean but what did he do? Who did he? How did he inspire? How did he hold it down? If you can't walk in that man's shoes, and you can't, you you weren't faced with what he faced with. <laughs> you can't even just stop it. You know, stop blaming before you know the truth on anything. And once you stop doing that, then you start to make yourself whole. You know what I mean? You, you start to find a real inner peace where you don't have to blame, you know, a person for, you know this happening or that happening that's like blaming uh joseph for being sold into slavery oh man it must have been joseph man he, he must have been too boastful man you know that or hawaii had a design for him or hawaii had a design for you know tupac his life and his death nipsey his life and his death there's a design for it, it don't mean he's a bad person it don't mean that he's this and he must have did it means there was a design for his death because even in his death it shifted up the whole world. His death, to me, shifted up the world more than Michael Jackson and stuff. And I love the music of Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, from the turf, this is where it's at. When you talk real ones rising up, qua, when you talk the seeds of the creator, the power, is right here in the hood. It's right here in the turf. You know what I mean? I don't know anything else. But the turf, man. I'm literally, you know what I'm saying, seeing it from day one, just like a lot of my brothers and sisters out there. And if you don't know about it, shut up. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what it is. You know what I mean? So we got to go. We got to overcome a lot of shit. You know, there ain't no such thing as being weak, being a sucker, or being a, a, a bitch or a snitch. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to navigate and, and stay true. You know what I mean? And, and you know what I'm saying? Just keep, keep respectful you know it's about respect it's not even about like goons and goblins it's like if you know how to be respectful man it is what it is now you could be respectful and still fall into some type of hood story man you know what i'm saying but if you're able to overcome that and get through that man you're you're a king you know what i mean you're a king and we, we walk in, in in memories of our ancestors that walked as kings and we here as kings today so when it deals with our tribe when it comes to our tribe you know, these are rules, these are like codes of conduct and how to deal with each other. Somebody's going through something, you don't start blaming them and jamming them up. Oh, I told you, man, this, this, this. I mean, that, man. There's a design for it. Even in the fallacy. Even in the faults. Even in the failures. For everything I'm not, 
there's a design for it so that I can hit whatever mark I need to hit and then reach that mark on a high level. You know what I'm saying? You got a job, you just got fired from your job, there's a design for it. Because now maybe you will put something together for yourself so no one, that no one can take away. That can inspire more. Everything you're doing got to have purpose. So what does it say? Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand first. Overstand first. Understand first. First game in understanding of the situation, of the person, of the events. If if that's your business, if you even want to come with a judgment, then you need to gain understanding. You want to, you know what I'm saying, talk about somebody else's situation or something that affects you, then have an understanding of the other side of the, of the coin. You know what I mean? Overstand it. Gain that first before coming to some judgment or blame or pointing fingers and thinking you got any information. All you got is feelings and emotion. We got to get out of our feelings. Israel, we got to get out of our feelings and start walking nobly and regally and deal with things with a regal understanding. You gain understanding. If you care enough, gain understanding. If you don't care, then you're just going to be talking shit on the corner and no one's going to care about what the hell you got to say. Because I only care about those that are invested you know, energetically in my cipher, as far as, you know, gaining overstanding, you know what I'm saying, understanding, understanding, then I can listen to you, you know, if you're just on the sideline talking shit from some city or something, look man, social media got us fucked up, because you probably think we give a shit, you know what I'm saying, we, we got a turf to defend, man, we got a turf to protect, man, you know, we ain't out here playing on YouTube, we got families to raise, man. We got families to inspire. This is for the tribe, man. Wow. Let's go. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. You don't always got to have something to say. This is for the tribe. You got to let your sister or your brother communicate without jumping on them to tell them what's right or in your mind. Oh, well, no, 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 bro. It's more like this. No, 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 bro. You ain't seen it like, like, like this. Be water. Sit still. Listen. Overstand. Let's go back. Blame not before thou has examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. If a rebuke must be made, make sure you got understanding, overstanding, understanding. And blame not before you've heard the truth. If you ain't got that, you ain't got nothing to say. And do not interrupt. Do not interrupt men or women, my sisters, in the midst of their talk. Let them go, let them flow, let them communicate what they got to communicate. Because you might get something out of it that adds clarity or overstanding. And you might not have to rebuke because now you have an overstanding. But don't let them feel attacked. Like every little thing they say, you're going to have to jump on and prove that you're more right about it. You know what I mean? You might have wisdom, but that ain't wisdom the way you're moving. So I can't take your wisdom serious if this is how you communicate. Because everything I say or you say, someone is trying to interrupt and outdo whatever you got to say or your thought or your your point. They got to have another point on top of your point all the time. These aren't fun people to talk to. You know what I'm saying? It gets real silly. It's a waste of energy. It's not respectful. I'm talking to my tribe. So we're just talking about respect. You ain't got this. You ain't got no, no cohesion. No, no connectivity, you know what I mean? Answer not before you've heard the cause. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk.
Strive not in a matter that concerneth you not. What are you even talking to me about me and my matter and my situation if it don't concern you? Why would I be talking about your situation if it don't concern me? In other words, it's not that, oh, concern me. I'm concerned. No, man. That's fake concern. I'm saying it don't concern you. I'm saying it has nothing to do with you. What I share with you is from the bottom of my heart. So I see clear to clear, you know, eye to eye and then clear with my tribe that's feeling this and flowing through this through these YouTube videos and stuff like that or through the ether and stuff like that that's as far as it concerns you you know what I mean if you if you communicate to your brother and sister and you're choosing to volunteer information and something you're going through you know what I mean you're freely giving that for clarity you know what I'm saying for advice or whatever the case is but past that point that person has no right to just you know go on and be chopping it up with other people and a whole nother community about what you just told them huh that got nothing to do with them it doesn't concern them they might want to have a false sense of concern all of a sudden and act like oh i should be concerned no no, no. this is my situation this is my life man i'm i'm just Sharing a piece, a slice. Seeing what you're going to do with it. you going to give me, you know what I'm saying? You're going to build me up. You're going to try to tear me down. Well, some people will build, build you up. Some people will take that information and try to tear you down. And you see this happening in your life. In lives around you. And what does it say? Strive not in a matter that concerneth you not. Strive not. When you strive, you put an energy and all this effort into a situation that has nothing to do with you. So get out of that and start wasting your energy in situations that got nothing to do with you. Strive to be connected with your power, which is within you. You know what I'm saying? That's what you strive for. Strive to protect your family and raise your children. Strive to feed your family. Strive to be at peace with your brother. Don't strive to do what? <laughs> In matters that don't concern you, that concerns you not, and sit not in judgment with sinners, man. You see somebody habitually breaking commandments, habitually bearing false witness, habitually, you know, putting the power before their power, using the Creator's name in vain, you know, covering their brother, their sister's things, continue to break Shabbat. You know, they don't even care about the Shabbat. It don't matter if they think it's Wednesday or Saturday. They just, they, they just doing them, you know what I'm saying? They're just habitually, they, that's not their frequency. They ain't choosing it. So, strive not in matters that don't concern you. And sit not in judgment with these people that transgress the flow. You know what I mean? Whoever they are. You know, this is, this is how you design up whoever they are. You know, they're making their flow. Don't let they flow be your flow. Don't sit in judgment with them. We ain't got nothing to judge together. You know, we ain't got to be counsel on nothing. We ain't got to agree on nothing. We ain't got to be in judgment together. We ain't got to be in, nah. You know what I mean? Not now. You know, the wave is the wave. You never know, you know what I'm saying, with the waters breaking in. But not now, brother, not now. You know what I mean? Because I don't respect your flow. You know what I mean? And that's just what it is, so... Again, this is a flow, a tribal, you know what I'm saying, uh, really breakdown. You know, how we deal with each other, how we can respect each other and accept each other. And with that respect and acceptance, you know, we can, you know, come to, you know, greater overstandings, you know what I'm saying, greater visions, greater executions of our visions. And you can be steady water because you know the code is strong, the respect level is strong. If I'm walking into a community, this is the type of respect I want to be established. I don't want to be in no chaotic, idiotic community, you know what I'm saying? So here, you know, we say, all right, man, let's let's begin our flow. Let's let's begin a respectful council, you know what I'm saying? And walk, walking and talking and being, you know what I mean? And, you know, leave an example and be trailblazers, man. Dragons, dragons in the ether, man, that 
others can witness and say, man, I like how they move. You know what I'm saying? I like how they move because they love their creator and they are promoting that vibration. You know what I'm saying? What they do, how they flow. You know what I mean? And this is how you promote it. Get it, man. Verse 10. My son, meddle not with many matters. A lot of our folks is all into many matters. A lot of our folks got to be in every single matter. Got to be connected to every single thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Always got to be, like literally always got to be, you know, talking to someone, trying to get whatever, you know, backstory and gossip on this and this and this and this. We got way too much of that. Way too much murmuring. Way too much talking about other people's situations. Way too much involvement with things that don't concern you. Being bored is not an excuse to be nosy and all up in people's business and meddling in other people's affairs and doing everything. Use your bored time to build up your frequency, you know what I'm saying? With matters that concern you, which is you, which is your power, man, which is your connection. Meddle not with many matters. All, you know, we're talking community. It's not just doing a lot of things, a lot of people multitask. We're talking about many matters. Again, put it in context. Blame not before thou has examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. Answer not before thou has heard the cause. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. Strive not in a matter that concerneth you not. That's the first, you know, connection with this matter, right? Strive not in a matter that concerns you not. And then what? Meddle not with many matters. He's talking the same context. So all these matters that don't concern you, step back. You're too hot out here. You need some almond milk, man. Fall back. Meddle not with matters, with many matters. If thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. Because you all in everybody's mix. Now you causing even more rips and chaos and stuff. You might not be trying to. You might just be bored. You might think, yo, I'm just so concerned, you know, you know, but nah, man, you're not going to be innocent, you know, if the result ain't favorable, you know what I mean? And if thou follow after, thou shalt obtain, neither shall I escape by fleeing. There is one that labors and takes pains and makes haste and is so much the more behind. Again, there is, man, there's one that labors takes pains, makes haste, and is so much behind. He does all this work, and you're so far behind. Because it ain't about working hard, it's about working smart. Facts. We all learn how to work smart. Whether it's talking about Moneta, you know what I mean? Whatever the case is, smart. You know, it's about being the flow. You gotta find that. I'm looking for, we looking for, you know what I'm saying? The most streamlined flow, man. The, the simplest flow. You know, again, you break it all down. What we do, it's about tribing up, man. You know what I mean? Simple. Inspiring others to tribe up. Making sure that we have a strong presence, a strong tribe that builds with our generations. Generation. When we got that first piece of land, that 10 acres last year, that was such a big step, man. Um, you know, how I do, what it do, Mario Chalice, what it do, Cam do, what it do, you know what I'm saying, Sister V, what it do, because from that point on, we knew that land is in our families, our generation, you know what I mean, like, to pass on to our generation, immediately we felt that, like, you know, we, we just did it for them, you know what I mean, not just for us personally, but for you, like, this is, you, you now say that this is our, our land. This is, this is our land, man. And this is what it starts right now. All this buying houses and car shit is over with, man. All this other fancy stuff is over with, man. Buy land, man. Build your land. Can't stop you, man. Can't stop you when you're flowing like this, man. You're moving like giants. Spend a million dollars on a house. Or five, ten Gs on a piece of land and build that and keep going, man. Go on vacations here and here, here. Put that by land, man. So you know what? I'm gonna skip a vacation next couple years. Me and this family and this family all chose to skip our vacations. We chose to buy land, and therefore we go visit our land, and it ain't no vacation no more. 
We're not scouting. We're not looking around. We're not unorganized. We know where we at. That's that. You know what I'm saying? It's organized. So it's all about being organized with this. Whether you're talking about the order, how you deal with each other, or how you literally flowing and what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? With the dollars you got. You know? And a lot of folks have been behind us, and I appreciate y'all, man. You're keeping the water flowing. Like the hot con say, you ain't just sponsors. You know what I'm saying? We use that because that's really the lingo of what people know when they are sponsoring a situation or a show or, or we have sponsors for, for GoFundMe's or whatever the case is. But you know what it is, man. You dragons on the wall, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you putting it forward to make sure the goal is rich. And we inspire all that to connect because we want to connect with you. So there's one that labors and takes pains and makes haste and is so far behind. Again, there's another that is slow and hath need of help, wanting ability, and full of poverty, yet the eye of Hawa looks upon him for good. Like, like Hakan say, we, the, we poor Israel, right? We ain't got all our land, we ain't got, we, we ain't got our land, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we just now are spiraling back into that framework, but we poor Israel, everything's been taken from us, right? So, stop trying to keep up with the Joneses and make the move you got to make as an indigenous brother, an indigenous sister, indigenous family, indigenous tribes, whatever you call yourself, just call on the great spirit, call on the creator of the earth, seek it out, seek out your, your traditions, your culture, your flow. There is one, again, that is slow and have need of help. You might be in need of help. It's all good. Wanting ability. You might want more ability doing this. You might want to study up on that and this. You might want to train up. And full of poverty you might not be having on this Moneta Juno right now. <laughs> Yet the eye of Hawa looks upon him for good and set him up from his low estate. So you will be raised high, Israel. No matter what you in right now, Yashra, Hebrews, black people, <laughs> copper color cons, indigenous autochthonous, real ones, you know what I'm saying? My Nagas, you gonna be all right from your lowest state. You in the lowest state, man, what it uh, what did my man JG in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. What'd he say? You're natural. Drop, we are natural lawyers and we have to defend ourselves. We have to defend our estate against the state and its statute. Bang. Blew the shit up. We tear shit up around here, man. My bro JG, he tear shit up, man. That's real spill, that's real spilloni right there. That's real spill in there, you know what I'm saying? We have to defend our estate. We're in a low estate. He did. And you better defend what you got left if you want to acquire your inheritance again. But it starts with defending your estate within you, your etheric estate. What state are you? What's the matter? What's the vibration you're choosing? Come on, let's finish this out. We're gonna get into the fire. I'm gonna get uh, the last chapter here of uh, the book of Numbers, man. If we have time, kick that into Jeremiah 1 out the pen to talk, man. We just cozy falling back. We in the corner, man. Let's go. So Hawa sets him up from his low estate and lifts up his head from misery so that many that saw it marveled after him. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of Hawa, wisdom, knowledge, and overstanding of the law are of Hawa. Love and the way of good works are from him. Error and darkness had their beginning together with transgressors, those that habitually transgress and trample the law, the commandments. 
that's where the beginning of error is. That's where the beginning of darkness is. Because you're lost. You don't see. You don't have a 360 degree dragonfly panorama, man. You don't see clearly. Error and darkness had their beginning together with sin. And evil shall wax old with them that glory therein. The gift of Hawa remains with the godly, and the favor brings prosperity forever. There is that waxes, waxes rich by his weariness and pinching, and this is the portion of his reward. <laughs> Weariness and pinching. Whereas he says, I have found rest. Now will he eat continually of my goods. And yet he knows not what time shall come upon him, and that he must leave those things to others and die. Be steadfast in your covenant, and be conversant therein, and wax old in your work. Marvel not at the works of sinners, man. Who cares what you're doing? Who cares what you're saying? Who cares what you're dropping? If you are publicly transgressing and privately transgressing, you know what I mean? Who, who cares? Who cares what you're driving? Who cares what house you're in? Who cares where you're vacationing at? Don't marvel at their works, man. You know what I'm saying? Marvel at someone who, who's putting their heart in this. And that's why you felt it I'm with my brother Nipsey, you know, transitioning that way. One, it's just frustrating to not know, you know what I'm saying, pertinent things that, you know what I'm saying, you wish, you know, you were able to, you know, you know, do more. You feel helpless because you're in such a, a disadvantage of the knowledge of the events, man. But all we got is the realness of the knowledge of the events of his life, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, the dedication, man, the motivation, you know what I'm saying? None of us really know, you know what I'm saying, why, you know, you, uh, you know, feel what you feel when you feel what you feel. And it ain't fake, you know what I mean? It ain't idolizing this. Why y'all idol? Paying a brother honor that deserves honor is not idolizing. That's just something that little, you know, dusty ass cop outs, you know what I'm saying? They don't feel shit, you know what I mean, and just want to talk shit and blame, blame something without having an understanding, understanding of anything that concerns them, there's nothing that concerns them that they can even attach to with somebody that's real, you know, that's, that's what's literally coming up sprouting, a rose from the concrete and we all saw it. Shit ain't, you know. So, we're learning a lot today. We learn a lot, man. We learn a lot. Let's finish it out right here. We're going to just keep the fire burning. Be steadfast in your covenant. Your covenant. Not blaming others for what you think they're doing with their covenant. Be steadfast in your covenant. And be conversant therein, and wax old in your work of what? Being steadfast in your covenant. Wax old in your work. It's work. You got to put in the work, man. You got to train up. The price is going up. Like it or not. And I like what the Templar said, man, because, again, it wasn't just about going up on the hijack. But for us, man, we're just, we're rising up. For us, man. The value of us is going up, man. The price is going up. The value is going up. They can't buy you. They can't They can't claim you. The price is too high. You're the seed of the creator. Your value is too high. The price is too high. Come on. Marvel not at the work of those that transgress, man, but trust in Hawaii. And abide in your labor, for it is an easy thing in the sight of Hawa on the sudden to make a poor man rich. <laughs> it's an easy thing to make a poor man rich. So don't desire things if it's not for you. 
at whatever moment of time it is, you in. That's an easy thing. Don't look at their work and think that they're blessed. Because they got things. They got some stuff. Ain't nobody richer than you. Maybe you, maybe you won't see it till you get to the other side. Maybe you'll see it on this side. But you in the matrix, man. <laughs> Love to natural. A couple more paragraphs here. To get it, man. We just flowing in the we just flowing in the breeze. The blessing of Hawa is in the reward of the godly. And suddenly he maketh his blessings to flourish. Suddenly you're gonna be flourishing, my family. Say not what profit is there of my service and what good thing shall I have hereafter. Again, say not I have enough and and possess many things and what evil can come to me hereafter. In the day of prosperity, there is forgetfulness of affliction. <laughs> In the day of prosperity, you're going to forget all about your pain. Come on, man. In the day of prosperity, there is forgetfulness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. You forgot what being prosperous felt like. And when you're prosperous again, you forget, you know what I'm saying, what the pain was to get there. You'll just know that you're there, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be so good for you. For it is an easy thing until Hawaii in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. The affliction of an hour makes a man forget pleasure, and in the end his deeds shall be discovered. Judge none blessed before his death, for a man shall be known in his children. Can I get that back, man? The affliction of an hour makes a man forget pleasure. <laughs> man. You know, this is an hour, Israel. We're in an hour. It's an hour. You forgot about the whole day. Your whole day has not been suffering in the eyes of the Creator. You're just going through an hour. The affliction of an hour makes a man forget pleasure. You, you forgot the prosperity because you've been getting jammed up in this hour. You forgot the pleasure. Wow. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, we gotta dig on that. It's only been an hour, man. It's only three o'clock. At three o'clock, you got jammed up. What's gonna happen at seven o'clock? Seven o'clock could be so good, you know what I mean, that you forgot what happened at three o'clock that you was over there complaining about. You know what I'm saying? You could have had a headache. You know, been hungry. Someone probably came and jammed you up, you know. Could have had an altercation, you know what I mean? Seven o'clock come around and you at the uh, you know what I'm saying, you you uh courtside, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, watching Kobe go for eighty one or something, man. You know what you know, you you could be right there, you know. By the lake, you know what I'm saying? Looking at the ripples of the water at peace, you know what I'm saying? You could be in the arms of someone you love, you know what I mean? You could be holding your child. Speaking of the children, the affliction of an hour makes a man forget pleasure, and in the end his deeds shall be discovered. Judge none blessed before his death, for a man shall be known in his children. So somebody might seem like that a blessed life. Don't don't judge them as having a blessed life because they have all this money and stuff or whatever the case is. You're gonna know his fruit, you know, through his fruit. You know what I'm saying? Through his children. What kind of man he is? What kind of woman she is? You know what I'm saying? Judge not. Judge none blessed before his death. Oh, they had all this stuff before they died, but 
look at their children. What example, what in them has, has carried on, you know what I'm saying? You can have all this, but what's carried on, you know? Just in my mind, I'm thinking about Michael Jackson. You know, that's, I play his music all day, every day, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't know his children, I, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know though, you know, I don't know what I don't know. But the greatness of Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying, no matter what accolades he's received, you know, according, you know what I'm saying, to this chapter right here, you know, it's going to be through his children, you know what I mean? And it don't mean that they're going to be moonwalking, but it's going to be how they walk, you know what I mean? How they flow, you know what I mean? How they re respect, you know, themselves and others and the basic things, you know. It's not about, oh, they don't have as much success as Michael Jack or Michael Jordan or whoever we're talking about or just the, the brother on the street that everyone, you know, uh, is paying attention to. Some people jealous of, some people it is, don't judge him on this, don't judge him on his Cadillacs, you know what I'm saying, or his Bugattis. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's gonna be really through the through the through the through the genuine, you know, nature, you know what I'm saying? And the lessons and the energy he's put into his seed continue. No matter what we do here, you know what I'm saying? We got again, it's all about tribing up. So I can't be talking tribing up if I'm not tribing up with my seeds, you know what I'm saying? With my my family, you know what I mean? So, you can only know me and judge me based on the wealth of the flow that continues to flow, you know what I'm saying, past my time, you know what I mean, past your time. And that's that. So, you got to put that in. Whatever obstacle you got to get around, you got to be a presence for your children because that's where, you know, the entire... Uh, you know, game is won or lost, you know what I'm saying? It's lost if your children can't, you know, pass on your frequency, man, and walk in the statues of the most high frequency, you know what I mean? It's all lost. It's all for nothing. You played the world game, good, you're out of here. We forgot about you already, but we can't forget about you if your children are spreading you, which is your flow, your creator. A couple more lines. Bring not, bring not every man into your house, for the deceitful man has many trains, man. The deceitful man has many trains, man. So, you know, they wonder why we kind of move a certain way, real stealth, real, you know, chill, you know what I mean? We ain't saying, hey, yeah, yeah, everyone come here and do this, you know. It's, there's a time for all that. This ain't the time for all that right now. It ain't, it ain't time to bring everyone into our house or my house or... You can't bring everybody in your house. You know, there's a deceitful flow, you know what I'm saying? That's always trying to deceive their way and, you know, talk of this and say of this and do all that kind of stuff. But they don't got your, they ain't got love for you, you know what I mean? They, they ain't got their A-house. They, they ain't there to protect you. And a deceitful man or a deceitful woman has many trains. They can talk your lingo. They can talk about surfing the wave, you know what I'm saying? They can say all these things. But they're just taking another train in deceit. It's just another path to get somewhere. It's another path to deceive something to show that they're all in this connectivity and mix. But really, they just wanted to sh something in them just wants to cause confusion, separation, destruction. And you gotta know how to deal with that, which is just isolate, separate, cut it off. You know what I'm saying? But to avoid all that, what does it say? I mean, you know, we just we just digging off some drops, some drip drops, man. Let's go. Bring not every man or woman into your house. Everyone can't step in your house or on your land. Not everyone is invited. No, you know what I mean. That's just it's tribal, man. Can you walk on any tribal land? What happened to Estebanico when he went into how we cook? Disrespect. Oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just walking on the God's green earth. Ah, nigga, you on my land. You, you in my flow. You in my tribal flow. And you're not invited. Not everyone's invited in that flow. You know what I mean? That's just how the fuck it is. That's, that's the real spill. So, you know what I mean? Whoever you bringing in your flow, you know, make sure that they deserve to be there. You know, it's, it's, it's not just for everybody. That's not, that's not realistic. You know what I'm saying? It's not realistic to be on YouTube. 
saying, hey, everyone come to our lab, man. Hey, come on, man. If I'm moving without any discernment, you know what I'm saying? If I'm just letting anyone into my house, anyone into our home, then you might be real suspect about this home if everybody's invited in this home. I don't want to go to no house that everybody's invited into. If I'm coming through your crib, I know I know what that flow is. I know it's very unique and very particular. And, um, you know what I'm saying, uplifting to my flow. And I'm here to uplift your flow. You think I'm going to be in a house that everybody's in? Why would you be in a house that everybody's invited to? Everything you do, you got to earn it. Every bit of respect, you got to earn it. I, I, ain't, I ain't giving you nothing. It's earned. You earn it by you walking in your statues, by your code, by the creator's code, you know what I mean? And let that reflect in your children, I mean, let that reflect in your actual actions and what you're building. You're a master craftsman, right? You're a Toltec, which means you're a master craftsman. We're talking Sylvanus, Solomon, we're talking master builders, man. What are you building? What's going to be left? What's going to be left, man? Last part right here. Judge none before his death, and for a man shall be known in his children. Bring not every man into your house, for the deceitful man has many trains. Like a partridge taken and kept in a cage, so is the heart of the proud. And like a spy watcheth he for your fall. So you can't let every man in your house, man. <laughs> can't, can't let every sister in your house. Because just like a partridge taken and kept in a cage, so is the heart of the proud. And like a spy, because this is all we got is agents and spies in the Matrix, right? We're just, we just talking the Matrix, man. I love the natural. Like a spy watches for you to fall, they're just watching for you to stumble or, you know, to influence the situation so that they can get, you know, some type of, you know, drawback or whatever energy they're looking for, which ain't the energy or the destination or the vision that you're sharing. You know what I mean? So if they ain't sharing your vision, we got nothing to talk about. Life's too short. We don't got that much time to plan. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Don't holler at me. Don't even be up, up up in this if you ain't sharing a vision. You just want to get something for you. You just want to be a spy on the wall. You just want to do whatever. All that stuff is fading off. If you black, white, Filipino, Asian, whatever you are, this is tribal. You know what I'm saying? So be here because you want to share the vision of these indigenous people waking up. You know what I'm saying? Connecting back with their indigenous flow, connecting back with their land, connecting back with the reality of survival, which is salvation to survive, you know what I'm saying? But not merely survive, but to be the regal Naga that we truly are, because the world's going to be at a disadvantage. And to this group, this group of original people that have been shit on and spit on and mutilated and raped of everything they had to come back online again and walk in their statues and walk in their regal nature, that makes the earth flip back over into righteousness and order. This shit right here, this flip over matrix shit, is gonna be destruction for everybody. So whatever you are, it's not like, oh, you gotta be this and that, whatever, man. Whatever you are, just be here to help build up these, these priest kings and these queens and these, you know what I'm saying, families that have completely been disenfranchised, you know what I'm saying, completely been gutted out. And you you might have went through your stuff with your family. And your family, everyone went through their chaos at some point in time. But specifically, there ain't no chaos that can compare to the so-called black man, black woman, right here in these states, right here. Because all we're talking about, again, is what? Marcon Holocaust, man. If you ain't down with it, if you ain't digging with it, if you ain't digging on the redemption of this right here, 
which is why you are over here in America. Hey man, you could be all kind of things and you could be in America right now and you don't really understand or understand that you're benefiting off of the what? American outcome. And they tell us to move on and just pick yourself up, Darky. Come on, Darky. Forget about it, Darky, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, these Darkies are Israelites. And you better dig with it, you better get with it, or get left on, man. You know what I mean? So, this is the events that led to the events. And no one gets to holocaust your ass forever. No one gets to colonize your ass forever. There ain't no situation in history where someone's gotten permanently colonized. You know, we have people getting wiped out. But you ain't just gonna permanently colonize, you know what I'm saying, the promised land. Especially, you know what I mean? Because... Once they do it, and someone comes and colonizes them and takes them over, and you know what I mean? So, you know, you don't just get to come over here in this precious, pristine land, mutilate these people, poison these people, you know what I mean? And then, a couple hundred years later, America's one Milton pot, it's all good. Because I don't care what you're doing, you're only doing it because of what we put in here. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you could be from China, Japan, wherever you are, you come over here, you better show some respect for the original people, the original people on earth. Because you feel it, you feel it in our flow, you feel it in our, our style, you feel it in our music, you feel it in our communication. You know what you're dealing with, but you also know these people are so lost and you've been poisoned by your parents and thinking these people are inadequate. In reality, when you feel the flow, you know there's nothing like the flow of the copper color kind of the naga right here in the old world everybody's watching this what are we gonna do everything we do everything we flinch everybody flinch and then they try to you know put little false flags to get us to jump there ain't nothing like us is that me oh, don't don't be reverse racist shut up man i'm being tribal i, I told you this is tribal don't come over here if you ain't Big up, big up in the tribe. We love our tribe. Hawa, our creator, loves his children. That's why he put us here. That's why we get down like this. That's why we look like this. That's why we flow like this. That's why we can adapt. That's why we can be water. That's why we can be creative. Because we're creators. We're master builders. Even in darkness, we got the light. Even in darkness, we got the fire. Especially in darkness, we got the fire, which is why we had to go through the darkness to get the flame to bring it back to you. So whatever you are, don't come over here bullshitting on us. S stealing from our fire, you better be throwing some logs in that fire, man. If you come over here, be tribal and throw some logs in the fire. And not just right here on YouTube, I'm saying, do that for the family you see around you. You're, you're a white boy, you you're, you're a white man, you're a white woman, whatever case is, throw logs in the fire. Don't don't draw confusion, which is the whole the whole Tracy thing. You know, she just throw she ain't throwing logs to build you, you know what I mean? She just causing confusion, putting chaos together, putting pitting this against that. Or oh, we're just here to break this down and destroy that. Stay away from these people, man. You don't see me mentioning and talking about this. I'm just making a point to my tribe. Done. We're done with that. Fake shit is out of here. You over here, be real, you know what I'm saying, give us real love, real logs, you know what I mean, increase our fire for real, don't come here to break down nothing, be a fly on the wall and build up as much as possible, drop some links, fall back, be too hot out here, maybe you need some almond milk, man, man. eat you a rice cake or something, man, <laughs> but not that fake rice, man, I heard you be making fake rice, man, that shit crazy, man. so yeah, you know, like a partridge, taken and kept in a cage, so is the heart of the proud. <laughs> like a spy, he watches for you to fall. For he lies in wait and turns good into evil, man. You see people just turn a beautiful situation into a chaotic situation, good into evil. You got people that can create chaos out of anything. Stay away from these people. Dig on it. I don't care about another war. I'm fighting the war. 
Your war is inadequate. I came through the womb into this matrix for this war. We all came back for this frequency upgrade. Call it what you want. But when you got people literally dropping poison in the air, putting your music in 440 hertz, teaching you lies in the classroom, indoctrinating you, poisoning you with needles, and then hacking up your your children and your wives and hacking them to pieces and eating them. Yeah, nigga, you at war, man. I don't care how long you think the shit was ago. It wasn't that long ago because it's still happening today. I'm not even talking about the 60s and the lynchings. and That's just a derivative, man. You are at war, my naga. So function in order. This is different than anything they've ever seen before, that we've ever done before. This is different. So you gotta empty your cup and see how you can contribute, you know what I mean, to the overall earth, you know, uh, realignment, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? But more than that, we're going to a whole nother frequency, man. And it's not about being angry or mad at nobody. I just say what the white people can do. I just said what the so-called Asian people could do. You want to give love? Throw some laws in the fire. And that could just be by you, you know what I mean? Just being respectful. Seeing a brother on the street. All right, brother, I know who you are, man. I love you, man. You know, give him love. I ain't saying nothing to do. You ain't got to support us and do nothing. Support the brothers around you. Or at least teach your children, you know what I'm saying, the truth. If you don't want to engage nobody, teach your family the truth. That's what you can do for us. You want to do something for us? Teach your family and your friends and your people who these people are. These are people from Africa. These are the original people on Earth. These are the Amaru Khans. And we got dragons and shit. You know, tell them we got dragons too, man. Let's go, man. <laughs> of a spark of fire. Let's go back. For he lieth in wait and turns good into evil and in things worthy and in things worthy praise will lay blame upon you. And in things worthy of praise will lay blame on you. Real man. If this ain't real talk to you, then you need you need to go talk, you know what I'm saying? Some of that wing wham, you need to go talk some of that gibberish. If this ain't real talk to you. You need to go talk some of that Yiddish. Don't come over here unless you want that real talk, man. Of a spark of fire, a heap of coals is kindled, and a sinful man, a sinful man lies in wait for blood. Bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty. A sinful man lies waiting for blood. Wait, he just wants blood. Can't wait to get some blood. Be careful what you ask for. Every blood that drops is on your eternal destiny, your eternal, eternal destiny, your mark eternal. We want to talk about a mark. That's the mark for that ass. A sinful man lies in wait for blood. Any chance he can get it, any chance she can get it. It don't even have to be literal bloodshed it could just be the literally destruction and slice it up you know what i'm saying something organic something fluid you know trying to just you know cause catastrophe you know they just lie in wait to cause some catastrophic breakdown or benefit from a breakdown okay take heed of the mischief man mischievous man Take heed of the mischievous sister. For he, for she, worketh wickedness. Lest he brings upon, lest he brings upon thee a perpetual blot. Receive a stranger into thine house and he will disturb you. You receive a stranger or someone outside of your frequency in your house, they're going to disturb you. Sometimes these strangers could even be family, man. You know what I mean? 
coming with a strange frequency, with a strange power, right? And they want to block your house with their strange power. No. You don't see it. You don't see it. You can't come in here respectfully. You got to go. But don't bring your power into my my secluded outcome. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it to me to overcome that in order to communicate with you. It's not worth it to me because you're at war against me. When you choose to be at war, you know, it's not just about respecting somebody's differences. It's like, no, I'm going a, I'm to a show you, you know, that your God is this and that, you know, you should be worshiping that or, you know, anyone coming with that, that type, you know, all that stuff, man. What's it say again? Take heed of a mischievous man, for he works wickedness, lest he bring upon you a perpetual blot. Receive a stranger into your house, and he will disturb you, or she will disturb you. It's don't mean don't have people over, you know what I mean? And don't, you know, have, you know, your, your dinner party, you know, all this stuff, you know what I mean? It's just giving you basic rules of engagement, man. You know, yeah, you could have somebody literally to your house, but you don't know I mean you have to really invite them in, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, or you can have somebody, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying, in the cipher of your tribe, but you know, they ain't really got to, you know, really, you know, be granted access, if you know what I mean, move with discretion, move with discretion, receive a stranger into your house and he will disturb thee, and turn thee out of thy own. And turn thee out of thy own. Turn you out of your own, man. You, you don't want to get turned out, right? You don't want to get turned out, right? So stick to the rules, man. You know, just like people read The Art of War. You know, 48 Laws of Hijack Power, man. You know, call it the Hijack Power book. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, hey, get the drop out of what you got to get, man. Sun, sun, sun sue it up. Uh, get your uh, uh, Nicolai uh, Machiavelli up, you know what I'm saying? Read the book, The Prince. It's a great book as well. You know, so, it's a, you know, Machiavelli goes deep. Get all what you got to get, man. Soak it up, man. But, you know, remember, man, who you are. You know what I'm saying? Don't strive in matters that don't concern you. Don't, don't put your energy into all these many matters and things. Stay focused. Stay goal-oriented. Fall back. Don't be too hot out here. Get your almond milk when you need to, man. To continue to try up, man. Revive up. Y'all don't mind, man. You know, we got, you know, maybe about 10 minutes or so, you know. So, let's get a little bit of this fire, man. And see if we can get the last part of this numbers here, man. The pentatop. Let's get it from right here. Hey, ha, I told you we got the fire burning. Still got some fire left? Okay, cool. We good, we good. Just get right into Hawaii, live Hawaii. Fall back, tribe. This is the tribal flow. Appreciate y'all for keeping the fire burning with me. All right, we're in numbers 33. Verse 19. 
for we will not inherit with them on the other side of the Jordan. And four, because our inheritance is fallen to us on this side of the Jordan, eastward. And Moses said unto them, If you will do this thing, if you will arm yourselves and go before Hawaii to the war, and every armed man and you will pass over Jordan before Hawa until he has driven out his enemies from before him. You on a war path. The price is going up. Your value is going up. Your land is important. Protecting your land is important. Protecting your family is important. Real protection. And he will drive out his enemies before him and the land be subdued before Hawa. And you return afterward and you shall be clear before Hawa and before Israel. And this land shall be unto you for a possession before Hawa. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against Hawa and know you your sin which will find you. Build you cities for your little ones, man. Tribe up. Build you cities for your little ones. And folds for your sheep. And do that which hath proceeded out of your mouth. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben spoke unto Moses, saying, Thus thy servants will do as my Lord commands. Our little ones, our wives and our flocks and all our cattle, shall be there in the cities of Gilead. But your servants will pass over every man that is armed for war because Hawa, before Hawa to do battle as my, Lord, as my Lord says. So Moses gave charge concerning them to Eleazar the priest and to Joshua the son of Nun and to the heads of the father's houses of the tribes of the children of Israel. And Moses said unto them, if the children of Gad and the children of Reuben will pass with you over the Jordan, every man that is armed to battle before Hawaii, and the land shall be subdued before you, then you shall possess them the land of Gilead for possession. But if they will not pass over with you armed, so if they ain't ready for war, they shall have possessions among you in the land of Canaan. They shall not have possessions but if they will not pass over with you on they shall have possessions in the land of Canaan in other words you got to be in Canaan and not Israel man and the Gad the children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered saying and Hawa hath said unto thy servants so will we do we will pass over all before Hawa into the land of Canaan and the possession of our inheritance shall remain with us beyond the Jordan. And Moses gave unto them, and even the children of Gad and the children of Reuben, and unto the half-tribe of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the king of Sahan, king of the Amorites, and the king of Ab, king of Bashan, the land, according to the cities thereof with their borders. So, you know, we're reading the last part of this, Numbers 32. And even Og, man, even the Sihon and the Amorites were given land, man. According to the cities thereof with their borders, even the cities of the land round about. And the children Gad built Deban and Artara and Aror, Aurora and Atroph, Shaphan and Jazar and Gath Beha and all the fortified cities and folds for sheep and the children of Reuben built Heshbon and Elala and Lila and Kerithyam and Nebo and Balmion their names being changed hmm they built Nebo huh and Sibma and gave their names into the cities which they built and the children of Machir the son of Manasseh so we read about this Machir Theodorus, right? Now you got this other Machir, M-A-C-H-I-R, the son of 
Manasseh went to Gilead and took it and disposed the Amorites that were there, therein. And Moses gave Gilead unto Machir, the son of Manasseh, and he dwelt therein. And Jahar, the son of Manasseh, went and took the villages thereof and called them Havah, Havah, Jahar. And Noboth went and took Kenah and the villages thereof and called it Noboth after his own name. Man. Thus ends the reading of Numbers 32 in the Pentateuch, as well as Ecclesiasticus chapter 11. Man, I love y'all. We feeling tribal. Just fall back, man. Fall back. Fall back in the heat, man. Because you are the fire. See your visions. See your creativity. See your creation. See your rebuilding. See your redemption. See all the goals you got set for yourself this year, tomorrow, for your family's future. Where's the future? Is it in these, these cities or your fortified cities? The war's already on you. You was born into this. You waking up in it. It's deeper than you thought. You've been conditioned deeper than you thought. You've been brainwashed deeper than you thought. Be patient with yourself. Patient with your brothers. Be patient with your tribe. All praise. Our eternal. Ancient. Head of days. Alive. Hmm. Wow. Wow.